Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, thank you for coming back here tonight in the morning or in the afternoon whenever you're looking for me. Okay. <laughs> to show up on the spot. But I want to know who wore it best. Who wore it best. And who would have known they would be in the same damn dress. Hey fam, how are you all? I'm just coming back with another conversation. Okay. You know we're going to be talking about Nene Leach. And you see them little fur slippers that man got on. That's all I got to say. Who wore it better? Who wore it better? Candy or Nene? But yeah, this man sitting up here with these fur slippers on. I'm like, bruh, put some shoes on your feet. Put some shoes on your feet. Feet and stop wearing these furry plush slippers around here. Okay, I can see if you want to wear them at home while you lounge around the house. Okay, you feeling yourself? You want a little comfort? You want a little, you know, fluffiness and stuff? You might like that tickle on that butt too, right? <laughs> the little thing, you know, the little feather they, you know, before playing with. He probably love that as well. I don't know, but Nene said she uh, like Vegas don't owe her anything. I said, then you have a swag boutique in Vegas, girl. You owe those employees some money. I'm sure they were looking for you. Why you were down there, but you trying to stay incognito. But the reason why they were in Las Vegas is because Neo, the singer, the artist, he was getting married. And I'm like, Naomi, did you sit down and do the the men's suits? Were you invited and you just brought a plus one, which was Nene? Or Nene, did you get invited? Tell me, because we want to know her. We want to know. We also want to know where y'all got that outfit. Why you and Cannon dressing the same thing? And why your so-called boyfriend in them uh, fur, fur, uh, blah, furry slippers? We want to know. And then it seems like he got a wallet. Uh, not a wallet, but a purse like a woman would carry. And this young lady, I don't know who she is. I really don't care to know who she is. But I do know she was a backup dancer for Neo at the time when he was engaged to Moyetta Shaw. Okay, or uh, they were getting engaged or something to the fact. But I can't stand Neo. After I heard that little story about uh, he was supposed to be getting a vasectomy. And she was supposed to be getting her tubes tied. And he let her get her tubes tied. And then he reneged on the vasectomy. Now she can't have any children. But he can have all as many as he want to. Because he still got his penis in check. Now what kind of bullshit is that? That's some serious bullshit. But I said since Moyella's not coming out here talking about it. And she's not being salty. Either she's a gracious. Um, um, what do you call it? Bible. <coughs> Excuse me, Bible loving person, Lord loving person that she forgave him and moved on and she's not salty about it. Or the latter, which I think Neo is paying her money. Paying her some money. Uh, I don't know if she got a lump sum or she get it quarterly or yearly. I don't know. But brother would have been paying her something for her not to be coming out talking about him like a dog every time she get a chance to. A dirty low down piece of trash in a dirty trash bin. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Just smelling like <laughs> trash. 
Oh, I can't stay at home. Oh, but moving on. And all that I can say, if the backup dancer did, like, impinge or uh, impeded on a relationship that she knew was already going on, just how she got them, she going to lose them. Okay, that's all I got to say. When you do wrong and you try to get somebody else's uh, boyfriend or husband, girl karma will come karma will come to bite you in the ass because she was a backup dancer that's what i hear she was a backup dancer or back i think it was a dancer i don't think it was a singer but she was in his group at the time and for whatever reason she knew he had somebody i know she knew he had somebody because they weren't like on the down low and keeping it a secret him and all yeah the people knew they were dating and they were subjected to um you know be married one day they were making plans they damn sure was having children okay because he got two children by my yellow so oh is it one child by your money yellow either way he got a child okay but I don't know what this man going on. I mean, he's wearing one of his suits. Uh, that's a Nyoni piece he's wearing. I don't know where them flur- flur- slippers come from. I really don't know. I never had a real man man sit up there and, um, you know, put some fur slippers on. <laughs> but I guess uh, Nyoni is feeling himself. Feeling himself. And if women can have luxury, he can have luxury too. Hell, he might put on girls' pants. I don't know. I don't know. He might like the way those feel as well. As well. But it's a hot mess. It's a hot mess, child. And then he visited an old territory where she know she didn't have her shit right when she closed down those swag boutiques and left them people high and dry. Don't even know how they're going to get their money, where they're going to get their money. And they deserve their money, Nene. And you have the nerve to show back up in Las Vegas. Girl, I hope and pray those people um got the um unemployment insurance because you sure didn't do right you didn't do right at all nene <laughs> with that mess and then floating around here with a mar- man <coughs> that's just add shit on top of shit which makes you shits puts you straight up in shitsville okay why well, you think you flossing and, and and doing all this thing and he carrying on I don't know what he carried on with that it looked like a female's purse doesn't it y'all like a little um the purse you put up on your arm. I forgot what they call them purses. But, uh, you know, it don't have no strap. You just carry it like that. But that's what he looked like he got on. I don't know why we even with this man, okay? Because he's married. He's tainted. <sighs> he's a disgrace. But anyway, moving on. That was Nene, uh, Neo, Neo's mother. I don't know what's going on in her house. What, there's some flowers or what kind of centerpiece is that? That was a pretty uh, waterfall. setting and it seems like she had a cinderella type of wedding but i I just don't understand how these people just have children then they want to go get married i don't understand that that's so back ass backwards to me whoo that's like balling backwards you know what i'm saying yeah nina you need to get your behind right on back into atlanta and see what your attorneys are doing because you got to keep eye on them as well because you might be thinking they working, they ain't working, they playing. Saying we got it all sold up and they mess around and you be, you be lost in court. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got one of Phaedra Park's type of lowering. You got a, 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 a lawyer like Phaedra Park, girl. You know you need to be here sleeping and eating your case. Sleeping and eating your case. And hopefully it will prevail in your favor. But like I said, it's not a win-win situation. Either way, you're going to lose. But yeah, this young lady, I don't know what her name is. I think, what her name was? Maybe the show. <coughs> Maybe it'll show up. I think it was Courtney. Hell, Carol. Hell, I don't know. But I know I caught it off of Nene's page. So it was uh, congratulations to Crystal, I think it was. It's all coming back to me now. It's all coming back to me now. Yes, y'all know I have a little forgetfulness here and there. And thank you to my uh, family member who told me it was uh, Dickerson. Damn, I still don't forgot the first name. But it's her name was Dickerson. She was a, uh, what do you call that? Um, a model agency owner. And um, she had did too, just too much. Is it Angie Dickerson? I know she told me. And I forgot it already, baby. But thank you, family member. Thank you, family member. But, uh, yeah, she did some uh, plastic surgery work on her face too many times. Oh, she looked like a fright. 
Oh, she looks fresh. She like little baby Frankenstein, the female version. Okay, the bride of Frankenstein. Oh, and it was unrepairable. She couldn't do nothing with it. She just got to go with that face and it just do what it do, you know. Oh, it was a hot mess. And I'm trying to figure out, is that person's hair nasty? What kind of mess is that? I know it's natural hair, but she evidently she needed to put some, um, what do you call it, vinegar on it. It needs to be repaired. See, I done jumped off a tangent. I done jumped off the, the main piece. All right, but, uh, yeah, I don't know what this uh, thing was for them to wear all, all red. Uh, uh, color like burgundy, red, and white. But I'm like, I ain't never went to no wedding or been invited to a wedding where the guests have to be coming in the colors that the, um, the bride and the groom are wearing. So I'm thinking they had to really pre-plan this. And, and they actually told them, look, y'all cannot attend unless you wear the colors we want y'all to wear. Because that's all we want to see, see out there is red, black, white, and burgundy. I'm like, what kind of shit is that? You can't make no ultimatums. You better be glad you're getting a gift. And it's over fifty dollars okay? But, you know, it's nothing here, no there. <laughs> I'll be damned if I'm let somebody tell me what I got to come in and I'm bringing you a gift and I'm I'm showing up for your uh, nuptials and all this. Next, you're going to be telling me how to eat and where to eat, how to use my fork, how to use my spoon. Shit. But anyway, that's that Hollywood life. I can't get down with it. Okay. It just is what it is. That's how they float. But I had to just come on and tell y'all who wore best, y'all, Needy or Candy. My vote is Candy. Uh, Needy seems like she's definitely come down and whole weight which is wonderful i'm sure that's what she wanted but that that dress did not mm, i'm not feeling that dress on needy i think candy wore it best i really do and i don't know what todd doing in that skinny suit he should have had something a little more uh i don't know <laughs> that that wasn't a good look for todd i don't know about that double breasted type of ensemble he has on it wasn't a nani naoni collection i can tell you that much but i wonder who really got invited did nini get invited uh because i don't know who she friends with is she friends with moyana or she can't be friends with crystal she's too young to be trying to hang with Ma nini or you know was naoni um the person that got the invitation i don't know i don't know but uh, I bet you Nene, uh, Neo knew she was going to be in all this mess, this scandal. He probably wouldn't have asked her to come. I'm just saying. I'm just keeping it real. Don't look like Mama too happy either. <laughs> look like Mama want to cry. Like, I told you, I ain't want you to I ain't want you marrying that woman. But you don't got me up here. She looking like she ain't happy. Oh, God, she look like she ain't happy. But, you know, our kids don't be listening to us anyway, honey. They don't care what we want. This is what they want. So, but yeah, that's the dancer that uh got Neo's eye when he's supposed to have been hanging out with Mush Mayet Mush what the damn Mayetta Shaw supposed to be marrying her. At least that that's what they talked about anyway. And then she let him go a little bit too long. And how they say, you leave them too long, they start looking elsewhere, and that's pretty much what uh Neo did. And I don't know who told somebody a man look good in red. He looked like the devil himself, like he's on fire. <laughs> that is an ugly look. I cannot stand red on black. Not that way, not on a man. Ooh. Uh-uh, maybe the little pale or the little handkerchief would be red in a black suit or something like that. But that's, ugh. I don't like red and black to go together like that. Uh-uh. Woo, cha, cha, cha. But that's all I have about this video, guys. Just wanted to let y'all know where Nene was and why she was actually in uh, Las Vegas. I personally thought she was just wasting time and didn't want to come home. But it showed that she actually had a agreement to be at somebody's wedding. Okay? And I don't know. I'm probably hoping and wishing it was her. <laughs> I'm like, girl, Greg gone, girl, Greg gone. I, mean, I don't think you're going to get another man like Greg that you can saddle around and then and, and boss around this, that, and the third child, please. you talking about Africans, men are bossy here. You got some black American men that's bossy, child. Don't stereotype and don't generalize. But I will see y'all next video, and y'all take care of y'all selves. Bye-bye.